Two of the richest men in the world, Warren Buffett and Bill Gates, were asked at a dinner by, I think it was Bill Gates' father, what is the number one component for success? And some of you guys might have heard this before, but it's always good to reassess. And you know what they both said? And as much as I fucking hate to compliment a scum like Bill Gates, they both said simultaneously, the most important factor to success is focus. And I think that that is the biggest thing that is stealing the ambition, that is stealing the goals, that is stealing the success, that is stealing the drive of men in today's society. Guys, I know it's been over a week since I posted an aggression talk. As you can see, I'm here in Miami right now. I'm sitting on the on the, the balcony of the Airbnb that I'm staying at. I've toured apartments. I'm gonna be moving in within a couple of weeks. And I'm not in the TRX like usual, and I'm, it's not 425 in the morning, even though I've still been smashing my wake-ups if you're following me on Instagram. But I've noticed while being here, you know, they give Miami the name Vice City, and that's for a reason. There's so much success, but there's also a huge divide, and there's so much poverty. And I had to get on here and talk about this because I just sat, and as, I'm, as I've been walking through Brickle, as I've been going to the gym, as I've been observing people and just seeing the wealth divide, I thought about it and I was just like, what separates these people? Like, is it, is it the fact that the rich people just had a better upbringing? Is it the fact that the poor people are just disadvantaged? And I sat there in every single solitary reason. I figured it was because a lack of focus. The dudes that are homeless sleeping with a fucking apple next to their head, it's not because of some disadvantage or disability. And this is not me being like ungracious. I, I genuinely, I used to be so, like my heart was torn for homeless people. And I'm going to talk about the focus, but I have to give you guys context as to what I'm talking about. My heart was torn over homeless people because I was just like, man, like they're, they're at such a disadvantage, right? But I started giving them money, I started giving them food, and I would see the same exact homeless people sitting on the road, smoking meth, same exact homeless people, not going to get a job, same exact homeless people doing the same fucking thing. And you know what it is? It's a lack of focus towards their goals, right? So I don't feel bad at all. But I noticed all of these people, they chose the vices over choosing to sacrifice in the moment and focus on what they knew needed to be done and it's just like our society today we've got literal drug addicts walking around who cannot get off their fucking phone and can't focus for more than five minutes and today what made me sit down and make this video is i'm sitting on the leg extension at the gym i was going to and there's so many only fans models there's a bunch of bodybuilders all this stuff and there's an only fans bitch and she's literally making TikTok, shaking her ass right in front of me, really pissing me off. And I said to my boy, I was like, bro, talk about fucking focus. Cause it's like, I can be staring at the fucking ground. And that's just, that's like, it's annoying for it to be there. And it's difficult to try and focus on your workout when that's right in front of you. And so I saw, I, I thought, and I was like, I have to make a video about focus. And it's, it's, it really, really comes down to the one phrase that I always say sacrifice in the moment for yourself in the future when you sit down to get work done turn your phone on airplane mode and put it in the other fucking room i'm telling you guys the simplest solutions are the best answers because simplicity is the greatest sophistication and if you're struggling to focus if you're struggling to get the shit that you know you need to get done done you need to take action you need to eliminate the things that are holding you back you need to set like set in stone periods of time where you're like, I'm gonna work on this for four hours and I'm not going to fucking get up. One of the biggest things that's helped me on my journey, and there's been a lot of professionals, a lot of successful people that have used this in the past, is when I allocate a certain amount of time for me to get something done, say I have four hours where I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna make programs, right? I sit down, I turn my phone on airplane mode, I have no access to any other apps on my computer, I sit in front of a Google document, right? Or I sit in front of my custom app that I onboard my clients into and I change their life through. And I sit there and I'm like, I don't have to make programs. 
but I can't do anything else. And eventually your brain is going to give in because your brain always is seeking stimulation. Your brain is always seeking that next dopamine hit. And when I take away the distractions of my phone, I take away the distractions of music, I take away any other opportunity for my brain to be stimulated, my brain will finally give in and be stimulated by the work, right? So it's all about your environment and choosing to focus over choosing pleasure. All these people in Miami have the same fucking opportunity, but the ones that are sleeping on the fucking sidewalk doing fucking ketamine, it's because they chose the easy, pleasurable option in the moment, and they didn't want to sit down and focus like the guy that's driving by on the Bugatti, right? It's a completely different spectrum when you sit down and you look at it, as everybody has the same opportunity, it's about the choices that you make, brother. And when I tell you, I used to have zero focus, I used to have zero drive, I had ambition, but I didn't know what was wrong with me because I saw everyone succeeding, but I didn't know why I couldn't apply myself. And it's all about focus. Gotta answer that later. But here's the thing, you have to have a goal that drives you with enough passion so that you're willing to make the sacrifices to focus. And I'll close on this, guys. All of the things I'm doing right now, taking my friends on this vacation, being able to go out, not worry about the bill when I go to the Salt Bay restaurant, when I go eat at these places, right? I don't have to worry about anything. And I, I, I wrote these things down a, a year, two years ago, when I started my journey that I wanted to be able to provide and I knew that it was going to take super sonic focus. It was going to take me absolutely pulling every nerve and every molecule out of my body and putting it into the things that I wanted to accomplish. And I tell you right now, if you fully commit yourself to something and you set aside time to focus every single day, even if it's just, even if it's just an hour a day, the standard is so fucking low because none of these guys can actually put their fucking brain into something and work and actually create results because they're way too lazy. I'm telling you, brother, for those of you that know you're different, if you put focus into what you want to do and you eliminate distractions and you don't focus on the little pleasures that everyone else around you is indulging in, you will be successful. You'll become the most focused man that anyone knows and you'll start to make your brain correlate happiness, pleasure, and dopamine with the amount of work that you get done, but you have to get through that barrier. It's never, ever, ever going to come a time where you sit down to work on something that your brain doesn't want to do and it feels easy, but that's the magic, brother. The same way that we're in the gym breaking down muscle tissue and building it back up, you have to break down the tissue of the things that your brain doesn't want to do. The more you do hard shit, the better it feels to accomplish that thing. So. The number one thing that you need for your success. Stop worrying about all these other things. Worry about focusing on that one area. Invest in someone who's in the position that you want to be in. Allocate all your time to the resources that they gave you. Focus and I guarantee you, you can change your life in six months. I love y'all boys. The Miami vlog is coming in a couple days. Stay tuned, I'm headed back to Atlanta soon and then we're gonna be back here full time. I love you boys, stay aggressive.